everybody welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial I gotta teach you how to use Photoshop so let's begin first thing I'm using a Photoshop edition it's an old version of Photoshop but it's my favorite one it's Adobe Photoshop CS uh, so let's begin in our first session on Photoshop the first thing you need to do is create a new page, a new empty page that will lead you to um, work on it. So first let's go File and New. Here we can choose the size that you, you want to work on. So you can choose a customized size, you can choose A4, A3, but I just want to choose Pixel, this, this width and this height, and I'm going to use a background, not white not background specific color but I want to use transparent so let's choose transparent click OK so here we have an empty transparent workstation workspace so I need to just demonstrate to you how you can use many tools in Photoshop so let me import these two pictures so the first thing you need to do is knowing how to I drag this image from here and put it over there so you just select the entire image from here select the this um, selection tools you just drag it and drop it to the other picture so here we got the this image here so what I want to do to this guy I just want to move him from here and put it in this mountain so instead of this mountain I just want to move him to a nice mountain so let's do that uh, you can copy this guy by slicing around so here we have a, this um, this tool called lasso tool you can use it to cut all around a specific image or picture and move it to other area okay so we can just select everything around them and copy them here okay or you can do other stuff like I just want to co copy all, uh, the entire picture and put it here so you can scale up and down by using edit transform scale so you can scale it as you like so let me just put it something like that okay so apply the changes you can come here there's something called obesity you can come here and you know scale down the obesity in order to be transparent so I think this is this enough okay so you can choose something like that in order to work on and I can come to this image and hide it so there's a small eye here you can just you know put the visibility of this layer to be non-visible so you just double click here and you can see here we are hidden away that layer so in order to work in the second layer you just come here and double right click and say layer 2 so we are working now in layer 2 in order to you know zoom in into the picture you just click control and plus on the keyboard okay so you can as you can see here we just uh, zoom in into that picture so we want to work with this guy in order to remove the old background so I just can select the background of this guy as you can see here and select the face and you know you need some uh, experience in doing this but you know it just you need to be somehow accurate okay okay let's end with this corner okay in order to cut the old background you just click control X so we removed the old background from the you know from the from the old background so you can just come up here if you don't like the changes that with this tool you can use other tool we have uh, uh, this tool you can choose it also in order to make changes so let me do okay cut this you want to clean the or the old background and let me also 
change this okay this is cool and uh, okay you can zoom out like this and you can zoom in control plus control minus and you can use many tools to slice this is one of the my favorite tools but you need to be somehow accurate okay as you can see here but note see we cut it the hand so in order to reback it we we can just type alt on the keyboard and with a mouse we can you know uh, and it's exclude the area so as you can see here we excluded that area so we can cut and also you can come up with the same tool and we can you know as you can see here select the area of the keyboard you can you know it just messed up with this but here you can cut this area and the same thing you apply to the entire image so the same thing here you need to zoom in to be more accurate you need to zoom in so let me zoom in here okay nice okay okay be careful here We don't want to slice anything. Okay, <laughs> so here we move down a little bit. We cut all the edges. Okay, I'm not the accurate 100%, but you need something logical here. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Go up take it no problem move down got this okay okay got this this corner the same thing you need to do the same thing move around this move up a little bit okay fine so you know this is pretty cool uh, you can come up to this tool for example sometimes you need to uh, increase the the transparency here so you can use this magical tool okay because sometimes it's much easier for you to use this tool but it's not 100% accurate so you need to use the the edges tool so I'm gonna use this move up here okay so we got this guy so we need to clean everything around him so you can use this tool or back to the old tool here you can you know should be accurate somehow okay just move around them clean everything clean everything okay so we started from here we end from here but notice here that I cut it the the hand okay so now I can press control X on the keyboard and here we got this nice guy with no background so in order to set the old background, all you need to do is go into layer 1 and type in the empty visibility icon here. So just type there. So we got we got this guy into the new layer. So you can move it around. You can, you know, do a lot of stuff with it. You can select all the body and go by using the magical tool. You can come to modify border. You just type the width, let's say 4 pixel, and I just want to do something here. I just want to say blur this effect, say OK. So we got it 
here. So as you can see here, okay, you can put other effects like if you wanna, for example, copy this, paste it, and y there's an option here called flip vertical. I just wanna flip it vertical, scale it, scale it up, and there is skew here. You can use this, put it here. And I can do something here like if you come to adjustment, there is color effect. You can play with the color. Okay, you can play with the color. And you can also go to there is a hue effect here. You can play with the lightness. So let's say I want this to be white. And I just want to increase the obesity or the transparency to be something like this so as you can see here there is a, a nice shadow here on the background okay in the in the you know so I need to insert text so in order to insert the text you can choose the horizontal type tool you can okay you can type something stereo 007 you can put it here. You can put a border around it. So blending here, you can put stroke. Okay, you can put it here. And also, you can, uh, for example, you can put other. Let me just type it again. Okay. You can change the color, like white, put it in the corner, you can move it this around, no problem. So this is pretty much how you can use Photoshop. You can save this, for example if you want to save it as a GBG, you can say new design, save it and you can see that picture so we go GBGs here's the new design that we have made so this is pretty much how you can use Photoshop I hope you like it guys so don't forget to subscribe our channel Stereo 007 at YouTube here's Ahmad Nasser again with you and I promise you in the next videos I will provide you with the new tutorials in many programming fields design fields, web development, and other cloud-based technologies. So thank you guys for watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe. See you later. Thanks. Peace.